on BBC Face to Face. The thing about low points is that there's nowhere to go but up. This is going to be the first start of my run back to a world championship. A crossroads for two fighters with something to prove. After the loss, I'm coming back with vengeance. And Austin Trout makes on me. One, a battle-tested veteran who's no stranger to the championship lights. I've learned things with those losses that are going to benefit me for this next world title run. Not just in boxing, but just... I'm going to watch this. Um, The purpose of this video was not... You know, even though I'm going to cover this, I'm going to watch PBC face to face uh, Trout versus Goucher. Uh, we're talking about how. OK, you got the big three. You got the zone. You got top rank ESPN and we're counting the zone as um, match room, golden boy, the world boxing super series and what other um, boxing events they pick up. ESPN, you know, they, you know, are basically they have one when we go through the divisions which we have to do individual videos on but they're locking up divisions for example 175 pounds the zone and top rank split 147 no 100 no 147 140 and when you look at pbc we're going to count them as fox and showtime and bounce and what all you know all al Heyman fighters Right now, PBC is putting more into boxing. Like, their Fox deal is amazing. Like, look, they're giving you face-to-face countdowns for Fox Sports 1 every fight, every main event. You know, yeah, they missing up, you know, I mean, missing with some streams, for example. Um, um, They missed out on an opportunity to stream. Then again, I understand why they couldn't have it on free TV or streaming on one of their platforms. But the uh, Jamel Charlo versus Tony Harrison 2 rematch, that was one of the best press conferences of the year. But that is an uncut type of press conference where they got to put them on their YouTube page. Like, what is so hard about them streaming press conferences on the PBC on Fox YouTube page? That's the only issue I have with them. PBC... Is destroying ESP when it comes to boxing content. However, it's something about the production and the undercards, even the ESPN Plus cards of a uh, top rank. They're amazing. You know, I don't know if it's the commentary, you know, between um, um, it, it would be usually sometime um, Christina Poncher on the ESPN Plus with Bo Mack, that Chris Algieri, um, and then main event or the main card you'll have joe tessitore tim bradley mark krugel andre ward you know max kellerman you know if it's like a big big fight so it's something about that that presentation that you know i've never seen a, a non-exciting top rank card even though the ratings are just not doing good you know or as good as they should despite bob Arum always saying well you know espn is the the megaphone for sports right now PBC on Fox is is doing amazing. Look what they gave to us with um 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 Heard versus uh Williams. The fact that it peaked at two million or so views, in fact, it should be on his page. I've always got my um my ratings from him, like the TV ratings. I get pay per view ratings from um Kevin Ioli. Yeah, here it is right here. the The average was one point three. 1.4. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, top rank is growing and they're securing up fighters and, you know, they're putting themselves in um, in um, good positions to um, bring on big fights in the future. You know, with, you know, the signings of guys like, you know, in the heavy signing up pretty much all of the heavyweight division. You know, and Showtime, as you know, they're under the PBC banner. They're not getting, you know, PBC is getting the bigger fights. I mean, I mean, free TV, Fox and Fox Sports 1 is getting the bigger fights. Where we get Easter versus Bartholomew, it's like, ugh, you know? And I get it, you know, because if those rumors are true, they're circulating around, don't shoot the messenger. But I you know, you know, PBC may be for sale. I'm not going to say may, I'm just going to leave it at that. And that this whole Fox deal and this whole like it's like the spit shine on it. Like, look, you know, let's get this Fox shit, really this free TV marketable. And then, listen, let's I mean, leave it alone. 
But right now, when it comes to boxing content, you know, for example, let's go take a little walk around the uh, PBC uh, free TV. Where we at? Oh, Fox Sports Go. Watch their free uh, PBC content. Fox Sports Go. Let's go take a little walk around. And then we're going to go check out ESPN Plus in the zone while we're here. So, here we are in Fox Sports Go. Let's look for something PBC. Where you at? 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 I don't feel like typing it in. All right, I'll type it in. All right, I'll type it in. I'll type it in. So, they have the Austin Trout Goucher stuff on here. But also, remember, I forgot to tell you, check on demand. If you have Xfinity on demand, I know all this stuff that the PBC countdowns and the face to face are on there as well. And remember, when they roll out this Pacquiao Thurman shit, because their their version of all access and the reason why I keep saying all access, is because I wanted you to equate it to something to something. Their version of all access is called Fight Cam. The ones they did for Spence versus uh, Garcia were really good. It was four episodes. Then they have the face to face, which is an hour long, which is, you know, like HBO um, uh, face off. But with uh, Brian Campbell, I expect uh, Pacquiao Thurman to be good. And then they also have the countdown, which is the hour long show. So expect all this shit, you know, for um, their next super, super major fight, Pacquiao um, Thurman, which is not that far away to be rolling out on free TV everywhere. So it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Oh, I don't feel like signing in, man. See, they want me to sign in. But when you go to ESPN, let's see, plus. You know, like they get they just make it a hard time finding the content. You know, so top rank, let's go top rank. And it's like, where is the catalog of stuff? Like, where's the catalog? Look, you see what I'm typing in? Let's see. I mean, they got some replays here. Count down a Crawford Con. This is their show. Production quality is high, but it's just not enough of it. He better not think it did. That tells you how much uh, of a dog lover that I am. And then they release it too late, and it's just not, prom- I'm, you know. See where he at. See how much movement he got in this. Andre Ward has a nice show on here, though. I do admit that. You know, I want to see, like, old Jesse Hart stuff and all that. I mean, you know. But the issue is when you go to UFC, you know, they have so much stuff. And this is just not even the cream of the crop. And let's go over to the zone. Let's go over to the zone. These are uh, just promos right here. An undefeated champion. This is Anthony Joshua. He's coming with me in intention. This is the legacy go of history to that makes boxing. By the way, notice I'm like I never have no issues with the zone. This is all the War Box and Super Series stuff. I thought it was savage too that on the main page they showing um uh they're featuring Joshua versus Brazil. Let me see if you can see it on the main page. Now you know that's this weekend. Josh right here. Joshua oh, fucking him up. Yeah, you know how that ends. But yeah. You know, I mean, right now, in my opinion, PBC in regards to, um, um, you know, they finally seem to have gotten it right. It's a shame that, you know, they didn't start this way at the beginning when PBC was first on CBS. 
NBC, you know, you know, Fox. You live and you learn. T Street Controversy, this is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.